there's one other thing that is, is, is pertaining to the lore that I, I do want to know. Mm -hmm. That I'm not, I don't think anyone's really asked this, like in like comments and whatnot. But I wanted to get a better understanding of the primal light, okay? Because a lot of people on the surface look at this as this is your version of how the saiyans obtain that super saiyan mm -hmm. right so with that in mind i and 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 you know obviously we saw the potential that this really has when you got a character like vegeta that's taking that light and turning it into its own shape in the form of a sword mm -hmm. and using it as a weapon to decapitate or you know to like sever a limb from broly right so i have to ask like when someone refines their primal light as he put it is that what is that what it ends up looking like it looks like vegeta's classic super saiyan look or are there levels to it or does though do those that hone the primal light are they all unique to that individual saiyan oh i wanted i wanted a quick side question does every single saiyan come with their own primal light so that too i think uh without giving too much away because the second film would really make that concept cool um i can tell you this like are you guys familiar with like any of like the teachings in Hinduism about so okay, you are you know in uh, in Hinduism instead of like saying God is this and God is that they say Nyati God is not this and God is not that yeah. they'll think of hundreds of terms that God isn't and eventually you're left with nothing so when you're left with nothing all that's left is the truth right because it's not clouded by anything so I think about like Super Saiyans like that, where if you get rid of anything that's in the way, there's only one essence that is true inside of a person. I mean, you can call it anything, you can call it soul, you can call it conscience or whatever, but like it's something a little bit more related to that. So everyone's will look a little bit different. Broly's is green and he can flicker because of his emotion. Goku's is burning in from the inside because he hasn't honed it. Vegeta's you can't see because it's just manifested through his hair. But like, uh, the idea that your core, like there's a natural core, uh, that is something that's central to like this idea of Super Saiyans. And like, you know, something that Dragon Ball Z had that Dragon Ball Super didn't, is like the sense of mastery. Goku had to master Kaioken. He had to master becoming a Super Saiyan. He had to train in a hundred times the world's gravity to just get to Planet Namek, right? And then from there, there were, there was, he goes into the hyperbolic time chamber and he just kept adding levels of mastery and it's because like he was just first of all he's being true to himself but then also you know this idea of like if i can master what like if i can master like the way of things like the, like the art of fighting in this case he will be the best version of himself like the true self the out of the non out of control version of this so your primal light is primal is deep in you so if you can master it like you will become the true sense of a master and Dragon Ball Super didn't have this sense of mastery to me I maybe I didn't read I didn't read the comics continuing it but at least from the TV series I didn't get that sense it was more of like an action uh, Saturday morning cartoon show to me uh, and if that's what they're going for like they delivered on that but what I loved about Dragon Ball Z was always about like that one person in the chamber just everyone knows the scene it's all red Vegeta's eyes are white and he's doing two finger push-ups in the gravity chamber under like 800 times the world's gravity and I'm a hundred percent certain that so many of us as teenagers learned how to do one hand push ups just because they saw him. <laughs> I did. I tried. Ev everyone. Like, it, like and they would think about that scene. I remember, like, I would always draw so much like inspiration from that just because it, it's the idea of self mastery. So, um, that's something, that's a concept that I want to inject going forward into this. If I ever develop this further, it's like the idea of self mastery and like, um, like what happens if you can actually harness your true ability which is always there it's just clouded by things that are in the way your inability to understand this or your your inability to be faster because like and if you're up all those things you unlock what's actually 
already at your core, you know? That is beautiful. That is so sick. That is... The substance is immaculate. It's, it's crazy, too, how he called it primal light. Like, how, are, are you aware with the term primal instinct that we've been throwing around? No. Well, what are you uh, referring to? <laughs> so... Actually, that, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so in the lore of the main <laughs> continuity, <laughs> right? Uh, Broly, when Broly was introduced in this in his movie, okay, he did something that we've never seen done before. He basically accessed his Ozaru, like his great ape, his inner great ape, without turning into one. Mm -hmm. He had no tail. There was no moon. There was no blood waves to access. However, because he's a freak, right? He's a, he was born basically a mutant, as Geekdom likes to put it, right? He is completely special to everybody, and not a lot of fans like to accept that because they just don't, right? They just, mm. they just, uh, there's all a lot of doubt, right? But the way I see characters when they are written, you have to accept them as is. And the way Broly is written is that he is meant to be special, different from everyone else because it's not it's one thing when you're in your base form and you're taking out super saiyan super saiyan god super saiyan blue and as you're getting beat you're then dishing it back to these 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 experienced fighters mm -hmm. with power levels way beyond what is believed to for broly to even have but that's the that's the thing he catches up instantly right on the spot and yeah. when he needed it before he even went super saiyan it was basically confirmed from paragus he was like he must have tapped into his you know ozaru deep within and he specifically said he got rid of his tail because if he went great ape they'd all be dead yeah. put it put it simply right so I thought of it, I went outside the box like I usually do, and I'm like, so you're telling me if he had his tail, he would have done something again for the first time that no one, ever, no one else has ever done, which is he would have turned into a great ape or primal instinct, which is what I would like to think would be what today's modernized Super Saiyan 4 would look like. Mm -hmm. because they haven't gotten to that point yet we have not we have not reached that threshold of end of z and beyond where we're slowly inching our way there with this with the main story but nonetheless he he did something that no other saiyan has done yet and i truly believe like if he had his tail he would have he, he would have taken the rule that we know of they look up at the moon and then they turn into the to the freaking big monkey no, I feel like he would have done that on his own. Mm -hmm. Like, just straight up. Because if he's so overflowing with power, then like... Well, of course, w what else is supposed to happen? The second Frieza kills Paragus as a freaking scientific experiment... <laughs> he made him... He made... He forced him into Super Saiyan. Right? And that's a whole nother bag of worms because like... I, I truly think that... Going back to all this primal stuff is that... The true Super Saiyan, the the true Super Saiyan, with, with the the power that these the, these monkeys, right, are 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 trying to get to, is just that, their inner natural primal instincts, mm -hmm. and and for whatever reason, because all of them got their tails removed and they need their freaking blood waves to really access their Ozaru states. For some reason, they just turn blonde. Whatever, right? They just turn blonde and, and they get their green eyes or whatever. Um, and then they keep pushing and pushing. But look at how Goku, he went Super Saiyan 3. Why his eyebrows to look that way? Mm -hmm. It's like literally the further his transformations, the closer he gets to that primal instinct. So with Broly, I feel like that's what was going to happen. So now we have this primal light. And it's just like... Look at Goku. <laughs> His light is there. He, he, oh, he is the Monkey King. His is unique. Vegeta's is unique. It all makes sense. So I think I know where this is going, but I don't want to ruin it for anybody, okay? I don't want to put something out there and, you know, whatever. But 
that's the whole i just love i i love that comparison is that your 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 rendition of the of, of the, the, the 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 power that they are you know like that they have is 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 like a deeply rooted thing that's unique to them and that's mm -hmm. sick yeah and i think like them being the saiyan race like the Saiyans are the ones who are able to harness this, which stays, keeps it true to Dragon Ball Z. It's just that, yeah, I think we're, we're just the way the show is formulated, like we're conditioned to know like Super Saiyan looks like something, Super Saiyan 2 looks like something, Super Saiyan 3 does. But for me, like, um, uh, I don't focus, I guess, most on what they're doing. It's more so like what their, their intentions are. So I think what made Vegeta a cool character in my film was his intention was to save Goku and also kill Broly. But like, he could have hit him any way. He could have just been throwing baby punches. He could have been doing sure you can stuff. But like, I don't think the choreography is necessarily what made him a cool character. It may have made the movie cool, but I think what makes him a cool character is like his intention. He comes there without a worry. Well, he comes there with great worry, but he doesn't come there with any apprehension to take Broly out because that's his mission. That's why he has brass knuckles in his gloves. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. And then same with Goku. Like Goku when he when Chi Chi gets her arm broken. David Vitas, who designed the sound, like he did this great little thing where he put a little bit of a reverb on her, her voice, so it makes it seem like you're hearing it how Goku's hearing it, and that's what like really makes him remember. He's like, no, I can't let like this girl die. Like she's supposed to be my wife. Um, his his definitely manifests a different way because of that. So um, and you can see that like his intention is there. Like one thing that was I think successfully done in this film is everyone's looking like they're ready to absolutely kill broly it's not about like who's the strongest who's who's gonna fight with honor goku and his great fight loving stuff like he's ready to absolutely kill broly so um yeah i think uh, like the intentions of the characters are something that mattered to me a lot and that's something that uh, a potential fantasy legend too would it would in it would elaborate so much on that broly would have a lot of dialogue he wouldn't just be saying Kakarot all day long, you know what I mean? Like, mm. and um, your concept <laughs> oh. of primal instinct and primal light is really cool. Uh, mine would definitely go like one gauge beyond that in a way that people probably wouldn't uh, think it would go. But um, but again, it's not about, like to me, it's not about visuals. It's more about like the idea. Like Goku lighting himself on fire, that might look cool, but I like the idea that he's absolutely out of control and this is what happens when you're out of control. He keeps it up long enough, just like Kaoken, he'd probably end up burning out. You know what I mean? Your light is out of control, and you must refine it to be useful. I know. I've seen it a zillion freaking times. <laughs> that's a crazy bar. <laughs> but that's what he said! Oh, that's that good shit! <laughs> <laughs>